Welcome back to your daily reading, folks. Today I am using the Light Sears Tarot. I didn't have to rummage for it this time. And I've laid your cards out in a Celtic cross. Just based on looking at the cards as they started to come out, I can see that I'm speaking to a real badass right here. You have chosen to end a relationship that was no longer working for you. And it was a romantic partnership, I suspect. Or at the very least, if you're not the kind of person to be romantic, you ended a connection with a very, very deep friendship or a very deep family relationship. I'll get into more of that in just a second, but here is your central card. You've got the Ace of Wands. You're doing something completely new. You're taking the initiative this time. You are full of fire. You're full of energy. You are moving forward. And I think this is just so badass, dude. Now, here is both your challenge and your assistance at the same time. I see that you're leaving. That's awesome. You're headed out towards something else in spite of the fact that you've got a lot of emotional investment, love, that you're leaving behind. You're still choosing to move on into your power. A really badass energy. Now, I should say that my Eight of Cups is pointing towards the future, which tells me that you're in the process of leaving. Maybe you've already left. Maybe you're about to start leaving, right? Or you're planning to make those changes. But in any case, I think this is a really cool energy. The risk lies in you choosing to turn back around and go back to that thing that you've left. There's the risk that, risk that somebody listening to this could actually do that. But right now, this is such a cool energy. You are leaving. You are heading out for something far better for you. This must be breakup season because I feel like I just finished a video the other day, another daily collective reading, where I was speaking to someone who had broken up with somebody. Okay? This must be breakup season or something. Or coming into your higher power. Let's say that, right? This is in your past. Somebody said something. Somebody did something that permanently damage the relationship for you, absolutely change the dynamic permanently. And so you've chosen to move on into your power because this leads on into the Ace of Wands. And that's why I say that you are such a powerful, badass person. You've chosen to leave things behind here. You say to this person, okay, if that's what it is, if that's how it's going to be, I'm moving on. I'm doing something different. I deserve better. It's really cool. Now, in your conscious energy, you're aware that someone has taken something, your romantic partner, your former romantic partner, has taken something fr from you, and you're in the process of getting it back. That Ace of Wands could be involved with you leaving, or on the other hand, you're literally taking something back. The Swords is about thoughts. It's about the words that we use, and about other things as well, such as higher levels of spirituality. All the sweets in tarot are spiritual, but I consider air to be more of the ether, that kind of thing, of mountaintops. What's that word? Um, not climate. Elevation. Yes, there we go. I have my words, I promise. But with a seven of swords, that you t that's you taking back something, and it might be verbally. You might be so saying something to your ex-partner that and just put th puts things to an end and also kind of writes the balance in your favor. I'm sorry that they took something from you. I think you're doing an amazing job by leaving. I hope that you make it permanent. Please make it permanent. In order to deal with the leaving behind of an emotional investment, leaving behind something a situation, a person, memories, um, that's going to be difficult. Um, and it's going to be varying levels of difficulty for some people and not for others. I hope that you choose to talk this out with people that you trust. I hope that you choose to talk to a therapist if that's what you need. I hope that you verbalize what you've been going through. Because right here, this is a damn rough time. Not only was your rom former romantic partner being a piece of shit to you, they were taking stuff from you. 
whether that was physical items, whether that was your power, whether that was your voice, they robbed you of stuff. And I see you being, in, yeah, being in the process of taking stuff back gradually over time. This might take years. For some of you, this might take years because you were in such a long-term toxic romantic relationship that it's going to take that long for recovery. Okay, take it as it resonates. In your subconscious position, you've got the Page of Swords. You are choosing to think a whole new way based on the universe's choice to inspire you to think, operate, talk a whole different way. This isn't just about you thinking. It's about talking. It's about a whole new level of spirituality. It's admitting that in one sense that in spite of the fact that you've gone through a painful time, there's that sword energy, that there's still a new way of doing things that, that you can eventually turn into the king of swords if you follow that energy. The page of swords is the start of a new mental thought. Yeah, mental word journey, if you will. Right now, you're in kind of, well, this suggests, at, le at the very least, traditionally, it suggests kind of an early stages of thinking for some for thinking for yourself, talking in such a way that um, you're speaking from the heart, so to speak, this might just be a new indication, like an indication that something is coming in new for you, a new way of thinking, a new way of talking. But for some of you, there's some maturing that you're going to discover that you need to do as time goes on. The Page of Swords is just starting out their journey towards mental mastery. Um, I like to say that meditation does a lot to take us down that road towards becoming our own Kings of Swords. And there is no gender in tarot. Once you're at the King level of any of the suites in tarot, that's when you become a master. That's when you become able to teach other people how to think differently, spend their money differently, do differently. You've got all kinds of things. But this is the start of a new journey of growth, and I hope that you take it. In your future, you've got the Queen of Cups becoming a deeply intuitive, compassionate, loving kind of person in spite of everything that you've been through. I wonder if you aren't going to use this opportunity to help others through their romantic relationships that are toxic, that don't need to be romantic relationships anymore. I wonder if you're not going to come into a deep place of compassion for people who suffered like you have. And I wonder if you're not going to be the kind of person to guide others to their own personal freedom. That would be such a badass thing to do. You don't need to be a psychic or even a therapist in order to be deeply helpful to friends and family members who might have gone through something similar to you. That is your cross. Let's get into the rod of the Celtic cross. Your advice card is the lovers. This is in reverse. This talks to me about ending a romantic partnership or a very, very deep connection that no longer serves you. This is about listening to your intuition and loving yourself while you come out of this particular phase. You need to tell yourself that you've been through a rough time and that you need a break from everything, right? You need to take baby steps to recovery. And here's something else. I'll put this up front for you. This is the judgment card and it's in your outcome. With my Celtic crosses, I use the advice card, the future card, and the outcome card to kind of tell you where you should go with this particular reading. What should you do with this reading? You should become your best and your highest self when it comes to your spiritual aspect. I talked earlier about you getting into meditation. I love using the Insight Timer. It's a wonderful app. Really, really well fleshed out, not just shovelware, okay? Consider it. It may not be for everybody. But with the Judgment card, you're being asked to spiritually up-level yourself and do some really hard work to come into this energy as the Queen of Cups and eventually the King of Cups, okay? This is a wonderful energy to be in. This is water on water energy. This is you looking into your soul mirror. Water on water is all about reflection. 
It ties back into the mirror inside the soul. When we look at the at the mirror inside our souls, we that's us taking a very deep look at ourselves. That's part of shadow work. That's us asking, how can I become the best version of myself? How can I let go of habits that no longer serve me? How can I become a more spiritually minded kind of person? How can I listen to my guides, to my ancestors more completely, more thoroughly, that kind of thing. You've got some hard work to do with this particular card, but I absolutely think that you're the kind of person to do it. You've got a lot of badass energy going into this, into this particular ending of an era, this ending of a relationship. I think you can do this. I know you can do this. Your guides, your ancestors know you can do this, even though it's going to be hard work. Not going to lie to you there. This is your current environment. You're a deeply strong person, but I also see you as being deeply compassionate. You recognize within yourself the need for self-care. You recognize the flaws within yourself, hopefully, and you appreciate yourself in spite of them. You see yourself as a complete work of art, flaws and all. You see yourself as perfection, even including those flaws. Let's redefine perfection, okay? really, really beautiful with some flaws. What isn't flawed in the human experience, right? A very strong person. By the way, you've got all major arcanas in your rod part of your Celtic cross. That's a lot of major energy. This is a major life event for you. Altogether, this is a turning point. You can turn this into a turning point for you personally. You can say, I'm going to leave behind my old self and I'm going to come into my power and become a higher version of myself. Really, really cool. I hope you make that choice. Here are your hopes and your fears. In this case, this is a hope. I can see how you might be afraid that the universe would drop you, but you're hoping that the universe will have your back and the universe does. The universe does have your back. Even when you go through tough times, even when the universe has you go through tough times in order for you to grow as an as a spiritual person, the universe still has your back. Um, I can't say how many times I, I've said now a couple of times that this might be hard for you. But I think that you're the kind of person who can adapt to hard, especially when the rewards are so powerful. The reward for being an elevated, evolved, spiritual person are infinite. Past this lifetime kind of infinite too, rolling into the next lifetime. You're in a major turning point in your life. I'm going to pull three cards from the bottom. You've got the Knight of Cups. This could be somebody's ex coming back to kind of woo them back into the fold. Spirit is asking you not to fall into this particular trap. That They're going to come with a romantic picnic, lunch, dinner, wine. They're going to wine and dine you. They're going to come, going to come with gifts that you know you like, such as a bouquet of roses. The night is kind of teenagerish energy. I call the page childlike energy, but with the night, that's kind of teenagerish energy. That is not the emotionally evolved kind of individual that I would want sticking around. If he chooses to grow, he, she, they, them, Z, Zer, all that good stuff, there is no gender in tarot. But if they choose to evolve, into the King of Cups. I'm getting that this particular partner that you've broken, with, broken up with will not, and that might be painful to hear. I respect that. Um, this is somebody that you shouldn't listen to. He's going to he, she, they, gender doesn't matter. They're going to affect this kind of image where, look, I've changed. I know I messed up. They may say some really pretty words. The Knight of Cups is good with poetry. In fact, there's a little letter in an envelope right down there. It's got a romantic wax seal on it. It's not in the shape of a heart. Or I thought it was in the shape of a heart. But this is someone who is willing to rom romance you to get you back under their control. 
do not fall for this. If they're in the upright position, this is an image that they're affecting, is what Spirit is saying. Okay, normally that would not be the case, but in this case, that is what's happening. You're being asked to think a new way and not to be drawn in by what this particular character, this former romantic partner in your life is saying to think differently, to say something different to, or say nothing at all, potentially. Silence is incredibly powerful, and for some of your situations, silence might be the most damning thing that you can do to say, fuck you to this person, don't come back into my life. This is also like potentially cutting off contact. If it's the Ace of Swords, that's a double-edged sword right there. This is about you possibly choosing to cut off contact, take it as it resonates. Ghosting might really be the best thing to do to someone who is romance, who is using love and affection to bring you back into their abusive, toxic patterns. That's shitty, okay? Last and not least, you've got the Ten of Wands. This is going to be a heavy burden for you to try to keep this, bur this person at bay to listen to the words that they have to say, they might be romantic words, that's going to be hard for you to listen to. You're still being asked to move on, to think a different way, to talk about yourself a different way, to speak to others in different ways, fundamentally change everything about how it is that you think about romantic relationships it may have been that Disney did a really shitty thing to you in the sense that they sold you the happily ever after narrative, okay? I'm not saying that happily ever doesn't exist. It does. It doesn't exist with this person. Last and not least. I know I said last and not least with the Ten of Wands, but let's end on a good note. This is the Two of Wands. If you can stand your ground and stay away from this particular person, even when it's a heavy burden to carry, you can start making cool new plans for the future. You can start dreaming for the future. Maybe it is that you want to travel, for instance. That's about a travel, travel plans, for instance. Maybe you want to go to college somewhere. Maybe you want to go to university. Maybe you want to take a job abroad. Or maybe you just want to plan new things for your future, things that you want to do. Start taking care of your bucket list, even if you're young. What is on your bucket list that you're like, I have to do this. I'm not going to have true peace in life unless I do this. Okay? It's really cool energy, but on the other hand, it's also hard work that you've got cut out for you. Okay? No more from me. Thank you for watching. Take care.